They say that Waymo driver is already reducing severe crashes and enhancing the safety of vulnerable road uses. I don't think anybody's going to contest that if you've driven on roads lately with people preoccupied with cell phones and just the general condition of road hazards on the road today. I think there are a few things more frustrating than seeing not one, not two, but three left-hand turn lanes with three cars sitting in the turn lanes in a green arrow and not one of them is moving. (laughs) Right. And it's because all three people are down looking at their phones and not paying attention to the traffic around them. Right. And worse yet, red light runners. I've never seen this this type of epidemic. I never just take off at a green light. In Phoenix, they're famous for having their timed stoplights. And if you know how to get the right speed to time it right, you can just go all the way from downtown to uptown yeah. on green lights. You can't anymore. Is it possible that they're so overly cautious because they realize there's a lot of crazy people on the roads, and as that quantity of that number gets reduced, will we then see some more aggressive driving from the Waymo vehicles? I totally think we will. I mean, you think about it, I can see a future where it's fully autonomous driving and there is no need for stoplights Mm -hmm. because the cars will see everything else that's coming up to an intersection within the nearest quarter mile or so and they will adjust their speed appropriately because they're communicating with the other cars and they will go through and then the other car comes through and neither car slows down they just know i foresee a utopian world where speed limits are no longer necessary as well